ہمارے ساتھ آج سائم صادق موجود ہیں ہی از میڈ جوائے لینڈ آئی ڈون ایف یو گائز ایف سین ایٹ ایف یو ہیو اینڈ جا کے دیکھو کیونکہ رونا تو آئے گا I went to Lums uh-huh. and I was doing anthropology and uh, at that time I think this was 2010 to 2014 there was still some surge of like after Khuda Ke Liye there was a big lull and then in, in that period you know there was Manto was coming and then mm. a couple of other films were coming I was like oh okay you know actually might not be a completely impossible dream mm. uh, and then I did a documentary as a like a small documentary with Nadia Jameel that's how I know Nadia uh-huh. uh, and uh, that kind of not that it went well or whatever but I I was like okay I like doing this I really like this is the one thing that I like doing I don't get bored hmm. uh, and uh, then I had done a thing with Simi Auntie also I did correct. like a short film correct with Simi hmm. Auntie that's how I knew her we should introduce so, uh, Danny Danny Rahil is an actor yes uh, everybody knows so, her, her people yeah. 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 and in ki walda jo hai wo simi rahil hai aur wo bilkul hai veteran actor aur unhone mujhe ek din aake kaha ke ek bachcha hai lums mein anthropology pad raha hai usne filmein banani hai to main uski ek short film act karne lagi maine kaha kare ammi aap to kar ke aayi to kehti hai wah yaar this kid's going places maine kaha acha kehti hai ha you know some kids just have it he has it maine kaha sahi hai and then she's like listen we had an ad agency so she's like uh, he, he's going to intern with us i said that's great and he came over and he handed me a script uh, and i read the script and i don't read all scripts because a lot of them are not nice i couldn't put this one down i was like ye kya cheez hai yaar ye to bahut ek achhi cheez likhi hai darlings ki thi nahi this was for it was a, like a well, the, i think the first thing that i actually wrote yeah it was called dhanno after simi the thing i did with simi yeah. yeah it was called dhanno i remember clearly it was about this girl whose father dies and leaves her a motorcycle اور وہ لاہور میں اپنے سارے ایرنز موٹر سائیکل پہ رن کرتی ہے تو لوگ اس کو جج کرنا شروع کر دیتے ہیں اور ایک فاش لڑکی موٹر سائیکل میں پھر رہی ہیں اینڈ ہاؤ شی ڈیلس ود دیٹ اینڈ بہت اچھی تھی انٹرسٹنگ انگلش وہ You can write a short story or creative writing and stuff. So I did. Hmm. Uh, and then you had to come to interior day. And like day. It, there's like Which so I liked. I was like, oh, there's no, no pressure of like language. Yeah. Of ah. like sounding poetic. It's because it's supposed to be very dry and woke. Okay, he walks, he sits, he says this. Huh. Gets Achha, nahin, okay, uh, uh, on But it's note, almost like you can't read it without the final product. Like it's not meant to be read, right? Like because when you read no, it, it's No, a script is not meant to be. Uh, yeah. Like it's you, very dry. Uh, huh. Like I have a very hard time reading other people's scripts and being like, okay, uh, how do you get into this? Because, and then I would really be surprised if somebody read my script and be into it because I'd be like, how? Because uh, it's so dry and it's meant to be dry. Hmm. No, but like the original draft, I was even, even reading, I think, um, Wolf of Wall Street or one of these other scripts recently as in research. And it was written like a novel, um, like between bits and pieces. So you can also have it, but you have to have a good writer then. It has you to be to something a, some that actually kind of voice is somehow readable. Yes. Showing, yeah, Correct. without being verbose or without yes. being... Okay. Pedantic start or... Start describing the leaves for like a whole page and like... <laughs> like no. Salman. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's this example of Quentin Tarantino as well. He said that he wrote a 3rd or 4th film. He said that I won't write a script, I'll write a prose. So he wrote a prose, but he wrote a prose, but he wrote a prose every day. He had to convert it into... 
mm. interior day yeah. whatever and all those things so he's like this just a waste of time to do that and Tarantino can do it yeah to mera ek sawal hai ki jo aap anthropology pad rahe the usme se aapko kitna perspective mila ye kahaniyan likhne ka jo aap ab aap likh rahe hain kyunki inme kafi ek understanding hai of the demographic and the people that you make these stories about and it's from a very intricate perspective I I I think perspective in Villa it's hard for me to gauge perspective kaise mila or maybe I haven't like thought about it so much but I do know ke just the basic ethic of uh going into somebody else's space or going into somebody else's world mm. uh you know like for example with Joyland part of it is world that I understand mm. it's not the same class mm. I'm upper middle class I would say or whatever uh and it's this is like lower middle class so again there is somewhat of a new territory that you have to be respectful towards you have to get a house you have to uh, write characters that you don't fully know about and so you need to talk to people to understand them and particularly mm. of course with alina's character so you do i don't know anything about or didn't know anything about the trans experience or or being trans or or any and all things that come with it and so i need to research and then there's a somewhat of a protocol that is not written anywhere but i guess you have to also make your own protocol and the ethics that come with it ke oh i need to f- have a fine balance between making it dramatically exciting but also not exploited mm, correct uh, that i think uh, my education helped me a lot in anthropology for sure you can so write writing this, about characters you don't know about jaise agar mm. aap male authors aurton ke bare mein likh rahe hain ya agar jaise aap ek aise demographic ke bare mein likh rahe hain jiske bare mein aapko khud itni insight nahi hai to wo i feel you're right you have to respect that and be as honest as you can about your ignorance also to the person who's telling you the story 100% so then you can put their version of it without adding color of your own yeah so living that experience through someone else's eyes like uh, identif- ek to identification honi empathize karna with that individual that you're so far away from uh, individually yourself as well identity wise right so how would you the research would be like to go to places to meet people like that and how does that work both but i think the one thing that helped me the most was to just talk was mm. to befriend people uh and because i'm actually interested that's when you realize ki oh, you're actually interested in these themes because you actually become like alina mm. became a very close friend of mine uh after darling mm. uh and so between darling the three years she used to come to my house we would hang a lot we would just talk and it was never with an intention of ki oh is scene mein ye hai to main usse ye ye wale Of course, we did that also, mm. but uh, it was just largely understanding the many sort of layers at which her life works mm. uh, or doesn't work, um, and just to get an essence, because you can never really live that experience. You know, at the end of the day, of course, I would go and drop her off, or she would go back to her house, and I would stay in my house, mm. uh, and I'd be like, okay, I I can be moved by this story, but I never have to really mm. suffer uh, the same thing. So it's a great balance for me. not so much for her uh, you know uh, and then of course if you're on set and you're like okay in this scene you're in the hospital and you're all bloody and what really happened you you know somebody shot got shot your friend it could have been you okay now act it out there is of course you know for me it's just a it's a scene but for her it's actually something that has happened to her mm. uh, in real life mm. um, you know one of her friends actually was shot spoilers ahead just oh, so this is like the first scene in the whole thing is going to be spoilers uh, because we're trying to dissect ahead. the story Yeah so there is an a there is a always a tricky balance of being like I do need her to be emotionally convincing in the scene but I also like how much do I ask this actor to source it from her real life experience mm. and how much do I ask her to fictionalize it mm. you know um because I can be like yeah the alina to you know but it's horrible <laughs> huh. to to do that so to to find that balance and not just with alina but with all the other actors also uh that I think for me is very important. No, mm. But as an actor I can tell you that when you're put in a situation like that you want to go to the worst part of your brain to be able to access those memories so that you can bring out that emotion and pain. I remember my mom was once telling me she came home I was a kid and she was really shaken when she came home and I was like what's up? And she said uh, there was a funeral scene at the work today and I had to pretend like my son had died. and throughout the day i kept thinking you're dead i had to play that out in my head for me to pull that out of me and it kills you it drains you by yeah. the time you come home you're just like <laughs> and then you walk so, in and it's like oh it was all a farce yeah it, how yes. do you do it the next well, time well it's different actors 
True. Some some people like Alina would probably work a little bit like that. Ali would also work a little bit like that. Mm. Uh, Sarvath would not work like that. At Speaking all. of actors, now let's come to your actors. What a great great selection of actors. Yeah, you did honestly. Um, fresh faces, good looking people, and very oh, good, good, very good at what they were doing. <laughs> All of them. Even I think mean, people in R T movies don't get credit for being good looking. I mean, yeah, these people are really good looking in general. वो कोई उनकी enhance करने की beauty का कोई नहीं है मतलब उनका नहीं था. They can look nice with a pimple also. So you did auditions for these? Uh, for some of them. Okay. For Ali, for Ali, we did a lot of auditions. Yeah, but it was a hard character to find. Also. Yeah, and then there were people who, uh, most of them were not right. Somebody who would sort of click would say no after they read the script. Like, ah, ये तो नहीं करना. हम वेट कर लेंगे अपनी ब्रेक का लाइक इट्स अ फिल्म इट्स अ लीड कैरेक्टर लाइक हाउ डू यू फील नाउ गाइस एंड अलीना आई डिड ऑडिशन बट फॉर डार्लिंग एंड देन विद अलीना इट वाज मोर अ प्रोसेस ऑफ वर्किंग विद हर बट द सर्फ मेन ऑडिशंस वर फॉर अलीस कैरेक्टर या एज यू डिड यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग दिस बाय द टाइम यू डन डार्लिंग वाज दिस ऑलरेडी समथिंग दैट यू लोडेड इनटू योर इंटेलेक्चुअल गन और वाज इट समथिंग यू रिटन फॉर डार्लिंग It was written. It changed a lot after I did Darling, but it was written already. I had been writing, and I made Darling because I knew that I wanted to make this. And of Achha. course, I was like, "Who's gonna give me the money or the resources to make a feature film?" So I might as well make my thesis as like a proof of concept that is not Joyland, but mm. kind of explores the world and mm. themes of Joyland in a slightly different way. Uh, I found Alina, which was also great. Um, but no, it was the the thing was to make Joyland. Darling was just like a. Whatever. soft launch <laughs> yeah. yeah so that's like the usual route as well like you make a <clears throat> short film and you take it to festivals and you did take darlings darlings we did take is it darling or darlings darling darling i mean pehle bhi darlings kehte hain mazra kya kar rahi hai darling so you took that to alia but stole from me oh, oh yeah. darling oh, yeah that's no, uh, wonder it's confusing so about time they start stealing from us also yeah please do <laughs> So yeah, that that was the plan. Yes. Okay. First, and that's how. Uh, I mean, so it how wasn't does that the work? plan that it would go be taken to festivals. That was not the plan. Uh, mm. Like, of course, we applied to festivals. I wasn't very sure that this film would get in into festivals because I was like, this film is not. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think that it was a festivaly movie, darling. Mm. Uh huh. Because I've seen, I had seen by that time a lot of short films that go to festivals, and it was, I I don't know. I thought it, it breaks into an item song in the middle of the. Kind of, you know, I was ah, like, but it doesn't too... do it the item song sure, way, right? But you know what I mean. Like it's like this is a short film with two songs, and you know, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It's not uh, emotional enough, I guess, uh, for it to be. Okay, oh, there's a trans girl, but she's not crying a lot, and mm. so I, I was like, oh, I'm really not pandering to either mm. of the two. It's not very commercial. It's not very uh, sort of uh, what you expect it to be, given that oh, it's a Pakistani trans girl story or whatever. Huh. Uh, but it did, frankly, did well. But even if it didn't do well, I felt like it was still a good um, resource for me to have. Okay, oh, there's the script called Joyland, and then there's this, you know, uh, short film that I've done, and because I was not looking for money here. I knew that I would be looking for money like mm. uh, outside of Pakistan because I know nobody would give you money to make a film here. Mm. Um so for them to at least get a sense of what is this theater world like what is a mujra what is a theater you know how uh, does this function they, like as a visual representation it helped a lot to have Just now wo aapne dikhaya wo bhi ek farak tarike se dikhaya na aapne uske andar se wo you you took the cheapness out of it for some reason and showed it in a very transparent way it wasn't like you were showing it in the way it's normally shown the theaters people. yeah the theaters and even that world in itself you like went into it very like delicately yeah. and even in darling it wasn't yeah. like uh, you know i ah, your face type oh much raw hai cuz they're fascinating was, yeah, these they theaters are. are fascinating yeah. it's like the i mean i uh, don't i won't do it anymore i'm think i'm done with the theater for now but <laughs> there are the, like just everything that happens in that theater backstage particularly is so fascinating how everything is flipped Hmm. how the woman who dances is the most important person in the room how do you get the it was so realistic like i mean coming from pakistan i'm sure the actors are trained to be in dramas where everything has to be over the top and everything is this and like emotion has to be exhibited a lot a lot of the time it was muted and the realism of it like i felt like i was in that house in that household when hmm. we were sitting in on on that dinner table with everyone and there was the pressure of oh, just have a kid Uh, happening i felt like i was there now that the realism of it the sensibility of your approach to it like and changing the actors what was what do you have to deal with well i mean three of the lead actors are 
uh, theater actors or new actors. So they've never done film. So there's there is that they haven't learned the bad tricks yet. Mm. Like Ali Rasti and Alina, they don't know that they because they haven't worked in TV. Huh. So. But theater is also big, over the top emotions. So you have to communicate to the last guy on the show. True, but they were smart enough to act. The funny thing is, Ali is the is probably has done the most theater out of all of these, uh, of course, apart from Sanya. Uh, but he knew because uh, he had done a couple of short films, and he was just uh, the reason we. I was, he walked in and he did his first audition. I was like, okay, twenty minutes, and I was like, this is the guy, because hmm. he was very. Um, I don't know. It was like my taste of acting in the way that he wasn't. Worried about expressing anything hmm. uh, with his face. Ki pe main is line pe ye kar dunga, thoda sa to ye hoga. Ye like you know, conveying emotions. He was he was like, I'll feel it, and if it's conveyed, good for you. And hmm. if it's not, I don't care. Hmm. I was feeling it. You know. Hmm. So now you put the camera in a place where I was like, great. Nice. That's what I like. Nice. Ah, you nice. get it to feel real for yourself, and then I'll get it to feel real for the people who are watching it. As opposed uh, to ye mark hit karna hai apne aur yahan se aapke muh pe light padi hogi aur aapko wo aha. emotion ek aasu ke saath mujhe mod ke dikhana hai. Yeah, I think hmm. we put a lot of pressure on actors to convey a lot of what I'm or the director or the writer is supposed to convey, which is like कि ये बोल भी दो कि मुझे बहुत बुरा लग रहा है और साथ में आंसू भी दिखा देना ताकि लग रहा हो कि लग रहा है असल में बहुत बुरा और but it's like कि oh no if he's feeling bad why don't you just try to tell the audience how bad he's feeling by you do something hmm. you know <laughs> like do something with you you have a camera you have hmm. lights you have a whole setup. Yeah. Uh, so he didn't take that pressure from the beginning, which put the pressure on me, which was a good pre- kind of pressure. I wanted to have that pressure. Rasti also similar. Um, Sarvad is one of those actors I think who, despite the fact that she did TV, she's left it for a while, mm-hmm. and and for good. And and she is very aware of all the bad tricks that she may have learned from TV, uh, and and she wants to get rid of it. So there is a very big hunger in her. Ke, नहीं मैंने ठीक किया कि नहीं किया डिड आई डू इट ओवर द टॉप और यू नो बिकॉज यूर बिट अनकॉन्शियस ऑफ के वेर यू डोंट नो समथिंग टू डू यू मेक दैट फेस और यू डिलीवर दैट लाइन इन अ वेरी टी वी ड्रामा टाइप स्टाइल यू नो बट शी वॉज वेरी अवेयर ऑफ इट एंड शी वॉन्टेड टू बी यू नो रूटेड in the moment untrained and rooted in the moment एंड ऑफकोर्स शी इज डन अ लॉड ऑफ वर्क इन द पास कपल ऑफ यूर्स विच इज द अन ट्रेनिंग इज हैपन ऑलरेडी सो एज लॉन्ग एज एक्टर्स आर विलिंग It's it's great. Sanya, hmm. of course, I don't need to tell anything. Uh, hmm. Sanya knows Sanya. what she walks into. Sanya Said is, you know, it's like okay, Sanya, we're just now having fun. Now she I might do. even help you write the script a little yeah. better. It, she's, <laughs> no, she's so it's, good it's, at that. I well. have never worked with a more respectful actor than Sanya Said. Huh. Even though all all the actors on this film were super super respectful and amazing, but she was the most senior, obviously, that done the most work. But the way she walks onto set is it's just amazing how she works with you. She like would never. I don't know. She <laughs> like I bet it's Sanya said you have a lot of thoughts. You think this you can fix this and make it better, right? Uh no. Uh she would listen to you as if you know better and you can come up to her and be like, "Okay, Sanya, this is great. Okay, ek dafa aur karte hain." And I'm like, "Okay, like why don't you try this motivation?" And she would do it, but like a student. Hmm. Uh it's amazing. ये जो मोटिवेशन वाला छुटकला था ना इसके ऊपर मैं जरा थोड़ा चाह रहा कि एक्टर के कान में क्या बोला ऐसा कि वो तब्दीली आई लाइक व्हाट आर योर ट्रिक्स लाइक आई हर्ड फ्रांसिस फोर्ड कोपला वंस से एज इफ लाइक इमेजिन एज इफ दिस हैपेंड यू नो सो व्हाट आर योर लाइक डू यू गिव सब टैक्स डू यू गिव वी वुड डिस्कस अ लॉट ऑफ सब टैक्स बिफोर नॉट ऑन द शूट ऑन द शूट वी डिड नॉट नेवर डिस्कस सब टैक्स और एनीथिंग ऑफ दैट सो वेरी रेयरली I think on the in the workshops we had a day where we the first day where all the actors came we did a table read of the whole script so everybody was aware enough and then I was like okay now you're never going to see each other again except the family the family needs to look lived in mm. and so you just make sure they spend time like Sarvat and uh, Rasti need to spend a lot of time to actually look like they're uh, bonding mm. right Ali and Rasti Ali and Alina uh, Sani and Salman Saab so you make I I divide them into pairs mm. and then I'm like okay we'll do some scenes and then some sort of world building some background. um and then on and then you solo ek ek actor ke sath i used to sit and we used to just discuss uh whatever's not on the page so there was a lot of things that were not on the page that these actors and i knew and we uh, thought of so that whenever they are lost or there's a silence they know how to fill that silence you know mm-hmm. it's just like, there's a scene there are many scenes in which one actor is talking and there are five others who are like just walking around mm-hmm. they should know just because they're kind of in the background they shouldn't sort of be like maine to walk ke kahan na mera kya kaam hai was like no 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 you're also doing your own thing we'll pick it up at some point in the film so we should be intrigued enough mm. uh 
and i think that that's what makes it look a little bit more lived in to just force actors to think beyond what's on the page don't just like do your lines and come because of course that our actors are very good at learning lines they're amazing mm. they will come that's good part of the tv training line wo 2 minute mein yaad karke aa jayenge ki ye line mujhe yaad hai yeah. uh, but just to create a world where they are existing with their own reality even if the scene is not about them and how sometimes it would be surprising because they would do it so interestingly that the scene would become a little bit about them mm-hmm. uh like the scene the big scene with Sania Said it feels like a scene about everyone yeah mm. uh, because everybody is believable enough in whatever they've done up until that point or even in that scene it's not like ki humne baith ke sunni hai inki baat yaar acha wo everybody is responding to whatever she's saying in a different way because mm. they know uh, this is the big scene when the sun comes sun to comes. take her back yeah. Yeah. hai na yeah uh-huh. after she spends the night there. after she spends the, spends the night the and night. then she says i can stay here and yeah. everybody's sort of rattled but in a different way you know, ali is yeah. a bit more empathetic so mm. is a bit more shocked uh yeah. you know and it's like okay if you if you want to dig into it uh then you can uh dig into it because these actors have actual thoughts in that moment even though what they're doing is just looking Hmm. but it's a different look for all of them uh yeah. Yeah, but also by the time we reach that scene jo sare usme characters hain unke jo dimag mein because of the individual stories jo chal raha hota hai na us scene mein jo tension khadi hoti hai just when it opens because of the brother in law and you know rasti and whatever happens and all that it just kind of comes together so well in that scene and the silence wo you know like you would cut the air with a knife type feeling yeah. is very prevalent in that moment i i picked up on that i liked it So uh, I mean you got uh, filmmaking as a passion in college. Yeah, I would say I had filmmaking as a passion when I was a 4 year old because I used to watch films like that. I used to mm-hmm. watch whatever two VHS cassettes we had I would just watch them over and over what again. What were they? Ah, koi koi. Of course Dil Wale Dunya Le Jayenge. There was Andaaz Apna Apna Uh, which was at my cousin's house none of those influences seeped into your filmmaking no strangely. i mean honestly you can learn from whatever you know you huh. can learn from hmm. just basic things and i don't know hmm. how they but i bet you just basic rules of engagement with an audience you learn hmm. from them and then you're like okay i'll i'll take one rule and i'll discard the other nine but this one rule is good because hmm. uh, it's so basic it doesn't matter what kind of film you're making hmm. what um, do you think that rule was for you I I don't know it's hard for me to to uh from those particular from films, those right? particular huh. films it's hard for me to to understand yet but what would be huh. one of your um central rules in communicating to the audience as a filmmaker I have never thought about yet yeah, basic information uh just the idea that we think that oh it's uh, and this is a problem with a lot of a lot of films often that we see even not just pakistani otherwise also basic information of a scene just to convey ke, where is this person coming from what is his name what is her name hmm. uh what are like just visually you should be clear and oriented that in itself is a big job it's hmm. a custodial job it's not artistic it's not cool to talk about it but it's a hmm. tough job uh and a lot of people are unable to do it often um is like ye hai kahan pe ye ghar kya hai ye matlab you know you're like ye is kamre se wahan kahan gaya samajh nahi aa rahi kuch mm-hmm. and to just again explain it without explaining it without mm-hmm. wasting an audience's time ke okay now 30 seconds which is have we're giving being given information exposition. or just dialogue or just exposition. dialogue exposition ke main wahan gayi thi aapko pata to hai ke mm-hmm. main kitni absurdha chal rahi hu pichle 4 din se <laughs> uh <laughs> matlab is tarah ki baat hai to so the basic rule is you have to convey that information mm-hmm. but now i'm like okay that i understand now i don't want to convey it with actors really speaking about how they're feeling hmm. uh or wasting time of an audience by showing that so how do you sort of include that in existing scenes hmm. ke while they're having a big fight you get some context about where who is coming from and what does she do you know like the big fight in the end there also of course it's the funeral you you don't ask ke kitne din guzar gaye it's still the funeral day hmm. yeah uh so they're cleaning up they're picking up the sheets and all they're clearing up logon ke khane wali plate padi hui hain gandi haddiyan wo sari to utha rahe hain wo sab kuch hmm. uh so that again you bring that information in and you try to do it in a way which makes it more interesting and also a bit more real hmm. um So yeah. is it like or do you write so writing process mein kya hota hoga you you write it earlier and in a very obvious expositional kind of way and then keep making it like that exposition into behavior that exposition into something else how do you how's that process work for you so we did like i don't know this film had the draft that we shot i think was draft 17 okay yeah but we had 7 years and this is 7 7 years of writing <clears throat> i started writing 
Yeah, we shot in twenty. <laughs> I started writing the first time. I actually wrote a version and finished it was twenty sixteen. Uh, and then oh, we shot in twenty twenty one. Scaring me a little bit. So <laughs> hey, I was. Can you so shot free. in twenty twenty one? You edited it in like eight months. Four and a half months. Four and a half months. Yeah. Okay. The actually from the shoot to the premiere, we finished shooting on November nineteenth. We premiered on twenty third May. So that was very quick, sudden, weirdly enough, for a for a film of this size and nature. Uh, but the previous we had spent a long time. Just mm. uh, again, it's not like we did it by choice. We didn't have the money, so I was like, okay, we don't have the money. I'm bored with the scene. Let's just rewrite it. How long was your script ready for, in hand? A day before the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the change? It's still funny because it was being changed even on. It was not like oh, yeah, a big thing has changed. But I would change some lines and be like, "Hey, on the set." Sometimes we would done six takes, and I'd be like, "No, this actually, I'm sorry. Ye line ni itni buri hai ki aap kuch nahi kar sakte iska. Let's just take it out, or let's just change it." Uh, so in that sense, the rewriting was happening. He, वो तो चलता है. But think... like a script that we were like, okay, I think uh, January uh, 2021 was when we were like, okay, this is. And after that, also there were one or two key changes that happened. But of course, broad structures, characters, big scenes. Mostly, or like eighty percent of it was the same. And was it just you writing by yourself, <clears throat> or did you have writing partners? Well, until January, I was the only one. Twenty twenty one. Then, when I started doing pre production, there was a key thing that I was like, "Oh, I still haven't cracked it." Uh, I don't know if you still cracked it, uh, which was to do with Mumtaz's character. Okay. And I, uh, we had some money, so we had started workshopping, mm. and we were like, "Okay, we're shooting in September," and it was July or June, and I was like, "I actually have no time to write anymore." Because I'm working as a director now, mm. um, and so then I got Maggie, my friend, to to come on board, and she we would just talk anyways because she's a friend. I read her scripts, she reads my scripts, and we give each other notes, etc. Mm. Um, and then it was one of times she was giving me a lot of notes, and I was like, why don't you do it? <laughs> like do a pass on it. Yeah. Uh, like these are the three things that we want to tackle, and let's like, try to do something with it. And so then she took over and did two drafts. So in these seventeen drafts. Mm. What's the first draft look like? Mm. Very different, very very different. The, the main basic is still the, the same. same. No, the arcs are not the same, but mm. the characters are pretty much there. Like uh, Mumtaz's character is very there. Biba's character is very much there. Heather's character is very different. There was a version in initially when Heather was a very angry guy. It was oh, a very like, like he was not angry in front of his family, but when he were, he would get a chance, he would lash out and have these bursts of anger, which he would not mm. know how to do. So he would get physical with himself or just mm. like I don't know. uh get you would be scared of this guy sometimes mm. Mm. uh that was and it didn't somehow i don't know for good or bad it didn't work for me mm. for many drafts that stayed the same and we kept trying to do something with this guy and we were like okay we don't understand what is this because it was always a character who didn't speak a lot mm. and it was always a character with not a lot of agency and the women had more excess tried to exercise more agency than him um so we were like okay maybe we should just Let him be, and you know, uh, and try to create a character who we can empathize with, rather than a character who we dislike from the beginning. Mm. Mm. In the end, of course, you have judgments, and you 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 think of things. Okay, oh, you he was eventually a guy, so he had his coming of age or whatever. He still got the better end of the deal, as opposed to some of the women in the film. Mm. Um, but that's interesting to have as a realization at the end, rather than from the beginning we hate this guy, because mm. uh, then you don't want to watch this film mm. if you don't like him. You know, right. you have to like him a little bit and judge him a little bit, and he should be a little bit pathetic because there is something about him which is uh, not exciting. Like the women are all very exciting characters; he's not a very exciting character yeah. to watch. You know, yeah. he doesn't do a lot of things. He doesn't say fun shit. Uh, but so to find that balance, and I have to say, Ali did help a lot. Like that character was the one thing that was being because Ali was cast in January, and then we had like seven months before we shot the film, and he did make it. uh he did find things to be like okay we like this guy now even though he's not the most likable but we can like him yeah uh, yeah cuz he went back on every single thing that, that he he promised mm. to his he went back on every single thing there was a certain times where it's like oh the silence is we understand you can't speak up but come on man mm. speak up <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know yeah. it's not about you anymore it's about your your wife uh yeah Yeah, so that so did you think of him as the main character shuru se hi ke ye character hai iski and do you follow that hero's journey arc thing um there was the planting of that uh, you know like you should go see karachi from the beginning mm-hmm. and then in the end the shore and like mm-hmm. it represents symbolically as well like his freedom as well so 
did you did you think that through the beginning and the end is that the main thing that comes up in the first draft or uh, no, do you see it as an ensemble no that was that happened after the ensemble thing happened certainly in the later drafts like with every uh-huh. draft it became more and more ensemble mm. and then i started in the beginning i was also stuck with this whole thing of the hero's journey and uh, it's helpful i guess because the first couple of drafts i was like okay this i can't fuck with right this is something that i have to stick to um but if i was sticking to the hero's journey completely which i am glad that i didn't then perhaps the big outburst in the in the end would not be sarvat's outburst it would be his, yeah, outburst. his outburst it should be him mm. we should show that he has mm. learned and he is mm. like no i'm not interested in that actually it's more feels more honest and more truthful that he's still quiet but when the he starts speaking up but he doesn't have the words yet because he's never spoken up he doesn't have the language he's not thought this through mm. um and uh, he doesn't also fully understand really mm. she understands because she was with her uh, and she has had somewhat of a similar experience and chose to process it in a different ways so i was like no it's a, i would prefer that we treat the family organism as almost a whole protagonist in itself mm. and because uh, they're pretty much dealing with the same thing all of them like in mm. that one scene with anu you're like oh you you're all kind of messed Fuck. up in your own <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know you like even the father is like oh you want something also but even you can't have it it's not mm-hmm. like you're a hypocrite that you uh-huh. don't want your children to not have it but you will go ahead and have it you won't have it your morality is your your uh, your own priority your priority person by your morality yeah. but why yeah, yeah. why man question. you're suffering your children are suffering just do the thing um so i didn't i there was t- some points in the in later drafts where like with every draft i decided to not stick to uh the rules mm. of the game you know mm. that oh suddenly in the the whole film is about this one main relationship of biba and heather the third act is completely not about biba and heather at all and like oh but that was the love story that was promised and then you take that chance and for some people it doesn't work as well so for some people it works i but i was interested in that so i you know like rejected some of the rules eventually uh-huh. but it gives you good structure to start off with yes, i suppose yeah uh-huh. certainly uh-huh. i was about to say like what we're finding in our writing process is that you can write stereotypical scenes and characters in your first second third draft 100% because then that's a good pointer for how to turn them on their head and make them what they're not you know like make them into non stereotypical scenes yeah but you have to write them out as stereotypical ones ba taaki aapka perspective to hona ke acha ye nahi hona chahiye is tarah isko ek farak tarike se karna hai and just to have mm-hmm. something on paper is a blessing yeah. correct to have an empty page versus having a page that's filled with things because you read it and you're like okay now i know exactly mm. why i hate this yeah. but it needs to be there you need to hate it and then you need to move on yeah. and be like no yeah. the it's easier to fix something than to create yeah in a way so, and some of these films that don't immediately come across as like the traditional joseph campbell hero's journey you know like he meets a gatekeeper and all of those particular like beats of the story that they plotted out from greek mythology ke you have to meet as uh, you watch like fight club ka chuck palanoik ka main interview dekh raha tha and the guys like uh, men have a secondary father and he took it straight from joseph campbell and the secondary father uh, in in like you know could be obi wan kenobi in uh, star wars which is like he rejects his biological father and then he has obi wan mm. kenobi come in or that's the real father really uh, the one that he adopts he had tyler durden and he he kind of made it up himself mm-hmm. in in fight club so you kind of go like acha to you can still use that beat but do 100%. it in a different way 100% yeah so many of the iranian films that i watch and i'm like oh it's so dot three act structure mm-hmm. and you're like no no this is this is their like, no 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 not invented anything they're doing mm-hmm. it in their own way mm-hmm. like as for hadi's films uh-huh. if you watch it, uh-huh. they're so like, you will see there's a 30 minute first act it will end on because i taught a couple of screenwriting classes like mm. 30 minutes it ends 60 minutes all his films are exactly 2 hours long how i'm like how because it's like <laughs> he's studied it in so much he's so methodical about it and then he hides it under so many layers of Correct. naturalism and and this and that and ah. like he is smart and sophisticated so about like, it uh, one of the uh, one of our writers the third person in our team uh, he came on board and he's like dekho yaar 3 minute ka ek scene hoga ek episode mein art scene hai uske mutabik aap puri apni spine bana do aage ja ke upar niche ho jayegi kar lenge lekin uske mutabik ye if you have a set scene structure for your act according to the time it also helps you develop the story and fit it into that and then you can obviously modulate yeah. it and change mm. it but i think that's a good way to fit into it okay, to like okay. find your own balance with it some yeah. for some people that might work really well for for me it becomes i think i self 
like I check myself ke, oh I'm still this is eighth page and this is the same scene but I'm like okay let's if it, if it's coming to me I will prioritize that over the mm. rule that I know mm. if it's coming to me mm. and if I think I'm on to something right um, and then I'll be like okay I'll go back and I'll take a couple of lines out and I'll make it a bit more concise and whatever but I feel like I'm doing something here which is more interesting for me than following the rule yeah um, I would I would I would prioritize that but for some people they would uh. be very sticklers uh, for the rule do you think of genres as well like like with the save the cat wala genre mm-hmm. writing where like literally pages mein likha hota hai first page a no. setup theme stated no no none of that no i dark mean i know that the in the soul. first 15 minutes i need to set i knew when in every draft i was like first 15 pages i need to set up the family mm-hmm. and i need to introduce alina and ali and alina need to meet and he needs to i be in the theater mm. like after 15 pages i can't be sort of still introducing the family it's too boring mm. they mm. don't want to meet the family they want the story to start and the story only starts when he gets to the theater that's mm. when you're excited okay there's something to look forward to uh so i knew that ke yaar no we can't be 25 in the edit because i shot long takes and stuff so in the edit there was a the first cut that we did i think 26 25 minutes in he was still had not gone to gone the theater, to theater. And like uh shit mm. we're screwed because uh-huh. this is it's very interesting i think this is very interesting that oh you know let's spend more time with sarvat and sohail and like find out i was like no so we cut a lot of things out kill your darling uh <laughs> yeah because i was like no 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 he does need to meet her uh and then you can take your time start mm. the story mm. you know get an audience engaged and then you can spend your time in finding mm. the characters a little bit more and giving them more layers etc etc yeah. so sarvat mm. seems like a very by the way sort of character in the first 30 minutes of the film it's really focused on him even his wife has like one or two scenes mm. he's like oh no she's not that important you introduce her and then you like let her be mm. yeah. and you start the story till that smoking scene on the chat na when she's smoking with her and wo and she starts bonding with her mm. and she starts with the female problems of like i mean there's there's that whole thing of women in this society aren't allowed to work and their work isn't taken seriously and how did you so this non linear storytelling there's the beginning which is non linear there's the end that is non linear beginning is not linear Be- beginning is linear yeah. with the mm. blood covered oh no that's the trailer i'm putting the trailer sorry no no the beginning uh, is linear it's kind it's of linear. like she's that's how she sees her for the so first the only time, time yeah. you went non linear was right at the was, end it was only once in the end in the end yeah, yeah. it was only oh. once yeah Just so did you back. feel like you were breaking some sort of rule there and the yeah, like, I was so excited is... about it <laughs> 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 i was so excited about it cuz i was like i'll get a kick out of it even if it doesn't work Uh, and it somehow it was one of the things I was very sure about. Oof, yeah, I was hundred percent sure it about really it. Uh, it that made worked. no sense. And somehow, when people would read it, nobody would say, "Okay." I think maybe one or two people said, "Okay, why are you going into a flashback in the end? It's a little weird." But most people got it. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, it has a feeling. It doesn't matter what the rule is. This is giving me a feeling when I read it or watch it. It's good. yeah." Uh, like seeing someone who's dead, uh, and then sucks, like full of life. before we like uh, seeing the whole trajectory of life being drained out, out of, of her and then and like, like this is where she started and then this is where she started was just like well, yeah. it, it yeah. just p- filled you up with that emotion yeah. right and she like, i mean like uh, in that scene also both of them Kill but it. like she is so uh, i don't know just like her way of acting she's so expressive yeah uh, that's her style of acting and she's so spontaneous that it would just every take would be like like wow this girl we don't know what she's going to do like me and my dp were always like so excited to shoot her cuz she's the most unpredictable uh so it was great like even when she opens the door or when the way she shuts the door on him is like oh <laughs> you know like you don't know you don't ac- expect that kind of i don't know response even if you think okay oh it'll be a flashback scene and mm. you know she'll say these things and they'll have a bond but just there's something about her face which is so magnificent yeah, uh, yeah. that yeah. you like she just feels so alive even if she wasn't doing anything uh, and the spontaneity was there in the character as well which end mein bacche ke sath khel rahi hoti hai and uh, they like no what are you doing stop playing like, <laughs> you know, like it's like trying no, to that, kill the spirit you yeah, know but that's also when she has a mental break now that at that point she's at the but ah, she's, she's at the break she's at the break yeah, yeah, yeah that's when she's well, like yeah. lost the plot and is like manic um speaking of your director of photography yeah great job man wow. joe sade wow yaar waqi which brings ko... the 4 by 3 question in ah, <laughs> kg uh uska aspect ratio jo hai badi ek choice thi aapki aur it worked yeah it could have gone south yeah. super hard but it didn't 
because the framing was amazing yeah and the light was amazing and i think ek scene hai usme jo shayad theaters mein unhone kaat diya ho jisme mood pe light aa rahi hai alina yeah alina comes on top of ali wo lighting kahin pe bhi mil jati hai wo aisi koi usne teer nahi mara ko bahar se nahi leke aaya usne ja ke nar ke liye no he didn't even get them that was a production designer lekin jisne usne istemal kiya that's a practical light so it's a production designer that's a practical light is a production designer it's a laser light for the world he didn't know that it was going to be there on the day of the shoot he came and I had asked for that light separately with uh, Kaval Kuzo, who's a production designer, was amazing. Mm. Uh, so it happened. We didn't know that it was going to do this. Then, then we were like, "Oh, this yeah. can do this to their it faces." Why so don't you come? Much. That lifted the scene. Ah, oh, that <laughs> really so lifted much. the scene. It's like, oh, this is must be planned. It wasn't planned at all. Ah, so you're open uh, for like these sort of mishaps that can kind oh, of lift completely. the film. Oh, completely. I'm waiting for them because I think the fav my favorite time sitting on the monitor is when something happens that I didn't plan or didn't write. I was like, this was not written. This because then it feels the most real to me. Because mm. uh, uh. I'm like, this this really happened. You guys. actively try to cause that chaos as well. No, so. I don't try to cause <laughs> it. Uh, but I direct in a way where I'm like, it should always have room for them, the actors, to surprise each other, for the DP to surprise me a little bit, and uh, I just I love being surprised on set. It's mm. the best thing. But we didn't the glass the was DP's not supposed name. to break. Joe Sade. Joe Sade. Joe is Lebanese. Uh huh. Yes. Mm. Lebanese. Okay, you mentioned. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was one thing. Sorry. That a such perspective was looking at that it was looking at that it was a Pakistani person who was not looking at it. Like you know when you shoot. <laughs> But when you when you I've worked I don't know that's a good thing necessarily. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's a very good thing because it it gave a very foreign visual feel to the film. It looked mm. like it was being looked through the eyes of someone who was looking at all these things for maybe the first time in his life. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. And and, and it came across like that also to an to, to the audience. It felt like someone from the outside looking in to a world he's never seen before, and then seeing the story unfold within that world. You mm. know, the frames were new. The lighting was different. So all of that the lighting is all him like the it lighting just, it was like, amazing yeah, i feel uh, as phenomenal. far as a technical yeah, yeah. piece of work uh-huh. whether it's the music abdullah yaar wa waqi mein or the dop or the direction it was all technically very sound thank you bahut acha kaam kiya hai aapne to ye jo iranian filmon ki aap zikr kar rahe the how much of the international cinema like we got some names off of it, like wo to bollywood ke naam hi aapne do filmon ke bataye kuch bataye na ki favorite directors kaun hai राइटर्स वाइज और अलमोदोवार आए बीच में सर आए बिल्कुल अलमोदोवार तो हर किसी की लिस्ट में होना चाहिए होना चाहिए बिल्कुल होना चाहिए बहुत जरूर फरहादी भी हर किसी की लिस्ट में होना चाहिए फरहादी कौन है असगर फरहादी असगर फरहादी अ सेपरेशन अ सेपरेशन ओके ओके हां होना चाहिए आई थिंक ही इज एन अमेजिंग राइटर माजिद मजीद ही आते हैं और उस टाइम दैट्स अ सेपरेट थिंग बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ केस ऑन हिम नाउ ओ इज इट लाइक देयर इज अ कॉपीराइट केस बट There's this guy called who uh, like contemporaries may also Polish. Okay, Polish Poland. What are they eating? People. Uh, it's amazing. Europe. Ka kafi scene ka. Ida and Cold War. Okay. Are two films. They're uh, done by this guy called uh, Paweł Pawlowski. He's amazing. Okay. Also shoots in four by three. Interesting. Uh-huh. Also shoots in four by three. And Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh, P.T. Anderson. P.T. Uh-huh. is. <laughs> I saw this. I film. haven't seen the new one, Licorice Pizza. I have also. I really seen. liked it. Yeah. But also, yeah. I really like the music videos he's. I got he makes tuned with out of that last one. Yeah, yes, they're very they're really good. They're they're very very because he developed his entire aesthetic for his film Licorice Pizza by working with these girls in music videos. Now, those type of camera movements, color palettes, costumes, mm. actresses, sub workshop करनी as music videos, and then he just picked that entire thing up and made a movie out of it. It was genius. Yeah, I I got tuned out of that last one where there was a uh, Daniel Day Lewis was playing a a tailor. Uh, you got Phantom, I love that movie. I don't Phantom know maybe Thread. I was in the really? Phantom Thread. That Phantom one. Thread. Yeah. No, I love yeah. it. But I love there will be blood and magnolia yeah. and uh, uh, boogie uh, nights. Boogie nights, the first one. Ab dono dekhiye. Yeah. Maine recently dekhiye called Triangle of Sadness. I saw it in a Kaisi theater. Kaisi thi? What did you think of it? <laughs> I, I, I like I like parts of it, man. I like the opening scene with the husband uh, with the boyfriend and girlfriend and the fight that they had. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. The, it was, I mean, I went with Maggie, who's uh, and she loved it. Hmm. I didn't like it. Hmm. And by the time I quite hated it, actually. Why? What? <laughs> yeah, but it was like a very well-made it? film, and a lot of people love it. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. But yeah, I liked a lot it of people love it who I respect and who have great taste. Yeah, I didn't. Like it. Hmm. What did you not like Subjective. about it? I thought it was so um, cynical. Yeah, but that's but in a bad way. I was like, you don't like anything about these people, and I'm like, you're making the same joke over and over that oh, everybody's superficial, everybody's mm. so superficial, everybody's so superficial. I'm like, I get it. Mm. In the last 
one hour there's a twist there which, is. Uh, which is great yeah, I like that, that twist, twist is yeah, great yeah, uh, and then that lady comes and I was like I want to watch this lady yeah. she's great yeah. the Asian lady yeah. uh, but it became really for me it was like you have nothing to say mm. except that people are awful yeah rich mm. people and are I'm awful and I'm like rich people are awful I'm like I, I like you know I can think of rich people as awful but I can still be interested and there can be more things to say like succession yes mm. Rich uh, people are awful is like yeah. the easiest thing to say. Like, yeah. you know, get over But it. The psychological awfulness of it all is Yeah, it's like dissect. so interesting. It's like, oh, how can I relate to this rich as fuck guy yeah. who's yeah. white? I can relate to him. Correct. Mm. Uh, it's, it's and I feel for him even though he's an asshole. Because when yeah. we, we've been, what we've been working on, we have two or three people, we, we like, you know, ask some people for their opinions and stuff just as research. And they said that your characters are all unlikable. And I thought about that for a while. And I said, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. As long no. as they're relatable, they can be unlikable. Yeah. Yeah. But like, always sunny in Philadelphia, they close, succession, they yeah, but close. Clockwork Orange ka jo main character, how much relatable hai. Wo to relatable bhi nahi hai. It's not about, I mean, I don't think they need to be relatable. Haan. They need to be interesting. Haan, I, I don't all relate all. with uh, Logan Roy in succession. Obviously not. But I want to watch him all the time. Because he's so fascinating. Mm. So either you need, I need to relate to you or you need to fascinate me. Neither of which was happening for in me in film. Triangle of Sadness. Because mm. mm. like, none of these people, because I felt the director is not interested in these people. I can beyond the fact that they're rich and superficial. Mm. So I'm like, how are you? Of course, you're not, I don't know, looking for things that would get me interested in more than that. Uh, if they're just that. Mm. Um That, but so the it end feels is like a judgmental way of looking at someone. It's like I've already judged this person. Now, And now I want you to laugh Kokla at it. version yeah. of him, right there for you. Two that was my seating, but maybe uh, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, if that's the sort of approach, then the, where's the where's the depth of the character itself? Yeah. How how far yeah. in did you go to understand what motivates this character to behave this way as opposed to? But I haven't seen this film. Maybe maybe there's like I mean he seems to. I like. He's it. been wanting uh, me to watch it. I like his previous films better. Uh huh. The Square. And Force I, Majeure. I haven't seen them. They're both. Yeah, Ma- Force Majeure is very good. The Square was also interesting. I'm uh, going to give them a look. See. Yeah, they're, they're much better. I liked his character development, man. Like uh, initially between the two, because we've been working on dynamics between romance and coupling. So us made the, the conversation that they had about gender identity and the roles that you take on in current society. That was a very interesting way to put them where they are as characters mm, in the story. So I like that. Aage ja ke phir usne bahut saari cheezein ki thi. I mean he shoots really well. Yeah. He he's does. a great like he's a yeah. very very good director. Yeah. Like he shoots really really well. So that was of course like it's a well made film. Mm-hmm. Anyway coming back to your film. Ha. Huh. Or or your influences. I want to break down your influences. Yaar ye I think ye hi hai. Uh there's a I do think Vishal Bharadwaj is a very underrated filmmaker. I think he's very good. Oh but he's not underrated is he? But is none of his films get I mean yeah. He's not on a rate. Okay. Oh, it's like then, not yeah, the I box office great. budget success that we want. True, like, true, Sanjay Leela Barsali level nahi hai uska, uh, I suppose. I think, yeah, Omkara, I think is... Omkara is one of my yeah, favorite Mabool. films ever. Yeah. Heather. Heather is too long, has, mm. but it's still like, you know, just to yeah. mm. watch Tabu in that film is... No, but when I saw the first time when I saw Omkara, I said, this is a different thing. I don't like Indian cinema. This is a different kind of Indian cinema. There's a whole other league. And it actually, to me, was one of the best Indian films I've ever to seen. To me too. Yeah. I think it's yeah. great. It was amazing. Um, For me, that, it was like, you can take that old Shakespearean play and uh, and redo it. Just anyway. put it in this, huh? And you're still good. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, the, don't worry about getting inspiration, finding a story. Just take those plays. But huh, they're there. <laughs> they're there. <laughs> they're free. <laughs> Let's do another Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> yeah. No, we have so many stories. What is the story of 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 the story? which is written about women in the 70s and about how uh, they get stuck in these roles. It's about this woman. It's a long story. I'm not going to go into it. Just read it. I have it. I'll send it to What you. What is it called? Femida ki kahani, Ustani Rahat ki zabani. It's mm. written by Ashwak Ahmed Saab. Oh, of course. Mm. So it's a... But you look at these uh, like sort of like, um, I guess, the structures of stories that have already existed. And you get like Heer Ranja Agai, Soni Maival Agai. You kind of go like, oh, they are kind of Romeo and Juliet's of... Yeah. And like yeah, they're versions yeah. of the same thing. They're versions correct, of the same correct. thing. So it's almost like it's not like Hamari. I feel like it's all human, right? We're all <laughs> yeah. human, right? Yeah, so it's not like Shakespeare was something else. He was just saying 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 something else. 
सो मैं वो इतना डिलीनियट नहीं करता मैं कहता हूँ वो शेक्सपियर को उर्दू में या पीपल लव वॉचिंग पीपल फॉल इन लव एंड देन एंड वी क्राई Yeah. I think anywhere in the world, people love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I don't know anybody who doesn't want to watch two people fall in love same. and then break up. There's always the well, relationship. Well, break up or whatever, or like somehow there's a. I mean, they can end up happily also, but like yours is tragedy. Where, where is the fun in it's that? It's a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a completely a tragedy. Yeah. yeah. So you played the rules of the tragedy. Did you look at like a little Israel? bit? Yeah. A little bit. I did. A little bit. I had to. Also mm-hmm. because it is a little bit, even though it Tragic. doesn't look like it at all. But like there is there are many characters that play. There is a. sort of uh, old tragic mythology mm. type vibes ke ho then this this person this this like they're all clashing intentions mm. for for all of these characters so there was that ha huh. for sure all and it's like uh, it's such a common tragedy in in this society as well ke khatoon ko uh, kaam nahi karne dena na base aur fir uske uske lover usko itni uski spirit maarni hai jo ki like that scene where she like does the makeup and everybody's pointing mm. uh, their cell phone cameras and she does it and they clap for her and you can see that so she like, finds meaning in this <laughs> yeah. you know this is my life you know and then they're like trying to squash the spirit at home all the time and like for me it started like even though i'm not like lower middle class or that particular strata of society economic strata um like my wife is a workaholic she's a production designer and she builds sets and everything so she's really interested in her work and like every now and then there'll be someone in the grandmother in the family that'll say something like beta tumhe kya kaam karne ki zarurat hai and i'm like hmm this exists you know yeah in that like less so in my parents generation still there and less so in this generation and hopefully less so because of the uh, films that you're making as well and that influences right so but like it's there and i related to that particular like i went like yeah this is how they do it and my wife came home but like i was just like trying to keep my emotions in control I was just seeing the film like you need to see the film but i only had this one, one time, time watch like <laughs> <laughs> she's like let's yeah. put it on i was like i only had the one time watch link and now we're trying well, to I'll, find i'll send it to she's in karachi though yeah, so she, she can watch it, it. Oh, she can watch true. it yeah but she got a slightly butchered version ha ah, yeah. and by the way us मैंने अब जो देख लिया है उस बुचर्ड वर्जन से कहानी में काफी न्यू निकल जाता है फर्क पड़ता है कि अगर जो बिकॉज नो नो आई नो दीन ज्यादा डिफरेंसिशन इन टू वन एंड आइडेंटिफाइंग एज अमन एंड सेट यू आस्किंग ऑफ मी दैट इंटायर फीलिंग वन यू रिमूव इट फ्रॉम द फिल्म यूर जस्ट अट लॉस्ट दैन अट लॉस्ट एंड generally also people also started wondering weirdly enough ke oh it's the baby belongs to there was a whole theory of like the baby belongs to the brother in law oh i have been bombarded oh. with messages asking ah. me ye brother in law ka baby hai na mumtaz ah. ka kyunki wo scene like, jo hota hai jo the masturbation like, because scene. that scene is yeah. cut yeah. and i'm like it's anything but the brother in law's baby ah, uh really. but and that i think some that scene was really uncomfortable uh, when he walked in and yeah, he kept standing horrible. there it's horrible uh, oh my god he kept standing there i was like तू थोड़ी शर्म कर बाहर जा आई नो लाइक इट्स या इट्स But that's good now that's what it's you a want it's fun i i like it's yeah. probably my favorite scene in the film people screaming at the horror film like it's like uh, get out of the room yeah <laughs> it, uh, whenever i watched it in a theater which is like 7 8 times now with a big audience that's a scene that always there's a collective <laughs> oh nice yeah especially mm. the girls mm. especially <laughs> the girls like you know there's like <gasps> Like a collective room going. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. Girl, run. Girl, turn. Do something. Stop this. <laughs> Stop it. Ah. Stop, Stop it. it. Stop <laughs> doing that. Oh, door bhi mein hai na wo. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. Um. So, uh, what was the Khan experience like? Very uh, chaotic. Very hectic. वो तो तालियां तो मैंने सुना है कुछ दस मिनट चलती रही थी वो क्या सीन था? Okay, it was. I think it was like seven, eight minutes. Not ten minutes, sure. but uh, minute each, it okay. felt no. That was that was the nicest part hmm. because no, Yet. we had all. There's more to come, mm-hmm. inshallah. Uh, yeah. But it was the nicest so far. Actually, in the whole film's journey, that has been the nicest moment because hmm. uh, nobody had seen the film. The mm-hmm. whole crew and all, we were all there, and that was the first time we were all watched. I mean, I had of course seen it many times, but the actors hadn't seen it. And the crew was all there. We were like forty people. What was the actors? Yeah. Sorry, what was <laughs> the? Like, how many people are in your team? Five. We said we are from Pakistan. We are forty people. We are from the eighties. We are from the stylists. We are from all over. So it was amazing. It was really, it was really quite special because I was trying not to cry, and then I looked, 
and then rasti was crying and i looked at ali and ali was crying i was like it's allowed guys you rok rahe hain hum roll lete hain koi baat nahi i was like no no we should look classy and formal and you know ke yeah yeah we used to this kind of thing i just heard about we have yeah we have a video there were many videos but uh, it was quite funny in the beginning of course not cuz the first 40 seconds the the lights were not on Hmm. was not even more probably like a minute or two of the credits and then the lights turned on and i was like oh sab ro rahe hain it's okay it's fine let's go for it <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward those videos of like oh there's quentin tarantino ki bhi thi na utaaliyan baji ja rahi hu khade mein beech mein it was not ro rahe the it's quite yeah i think it we didn't oh, cry it feel quite awkward yeah because we started crying and then hmm. i don't know i hugged alina or whoever was next to me alina hmm. was next to me i hugged her and then everybody started hugging each other hmm. so it was like oh theater dali mein ja rahe hain hum aapas mein ja rahe jab bhi hum aa rahe hain dusre ko and it was like okay uh, we are having our own moment of catharsis but phir uh, koi aaya tha unki festival ki taraf se ke upar dekh ke zara thank you bole logon ko ya bow karne ko oh ha sorry sorry ye nahi aata hume it's all about us right now bahut hi ganda ek uncoordinated sa bow karne ki koshish ki thi sabne jo bahut 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 flop hua tha but uh, fun well, the rest the, was that's the chaos chaotic. you would want in your film as well na that that odd okay, ball ek dot wala try kare chalo sare 1 2 3 but uh, to ab aage ka journey hai is movie ki kahan ja rahi hai aur ye how do the doors open after the cans thing and does that help malala bhi ab uh, on board aagi thi was that after cans that was before? after that was way after can that she was, approach you uh, well she met one of our producers at a lunch and then uh, he said oh i'm one of the producers i'm an ep on joyland and then she was like oh yeah of course she knew about it so she was like can i watch it and we sent her a link and then she saw it with her husband and uh, she was very sweet and then she wrote back and said ki oh i would like to be if i can help i would like to be involved she was like so how is she of course helping? come how, how what's her role now how is she she's an executive producer so she like um, we did a lot of q and a's uh you know screenings pe she came for the london premiere she introduced the film so of course she brings that weight you know mm. she gets she can get more people to sit in the theater to mm. watch the film mm. uh and uh, she can get more people to notice the film uh you know and of course it's completely also very very helpful for the academy campaign mm because i mean who knows about joyland yeah uh, in general if you think of like some guy sitting in california who's very old and a oscar voter he doesn't know about joyland mm. but then he knows about it because he knows malala, malala. and malala is saying this is a film i'm working on so of course he brings some attention uh, to the film she uh, i mean a film like this uh was very difficult to imagine in any other time with someone like malala it's like almost serendipitous the way things are lining up right it was very serendipitous uh, like it was very I don't know it was just lucky that's huh. when I was like oh this film is quite lucky it'll uh, it'll chart its own space nice. I don't know yeah. we I mean I I'm also very lucky but the film is lucky the film has good luck attached to it uh then we got banned then we were like is it lucky but then it got <laughs> unbanned I was like oh yeah, yeah it's fine <laughs> 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 the uh, feeling okay, you have to goes. balance it gets balanced out eventually <laughs> and it's always on the good side of luck huh more often than not So now are you worried about I mean cuz since it's so becoming so big with all the festivals and everything ab agle wale pe kya karna hai matlab are you like you're not even thinking about the next project right now or are you no, in I'm the next project I'm dying to think of, I've been very uh, woke okay, yaar I need actually don't enjoy this part mm. of the process at all I thought I would enjoy it a lot it's so it sounds so nice there'll mm. be like you know I'm uh, people are taking interviews and you know so much attention so I enjoyed it for like the first couple of days and I was like no I actually enjoy the making far more than i enjoy this uh and uh, so i have been dying for this to end so i can start writing i have a couple of ideas but i can't write in the middle of what if someone like was this? to come up hmm. to you and be like listen yaar hum bana rahe hain koi 5 7 10 episode kisi cheez ke aur ek episode aap direct kar dein uski script bhi hamare sath thodi ye hamara right ho ka raha hai ye humne pehle ka plan kar lenge obviously agar hame mile to hum matlab हम तो अभी वही ना वो पेपर पेंसिल लेके बैठे हुए वाला नहीं 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 नो वी वी बीन राइटिंग इट फॉर ईयर ईयर एंड 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 हाफ हाफ राइटिंग इट वी हैव नो आइडिया हाउ दैट पार्ट ऑफ इट इज गोना हैपन इट विल हैपन इट विल हैपन स्पेशली सीरीज इज इज मच मोर इट्स आई गेस इट्स अ बिट इजियर देन अ फिल्म टू गेट मनी हां बिकॉज़ इट्स मोर लुक्रेटिव नाउ आई मीन आई कांट थिंक ऑफ एनीथिंग अदर देन जी5 विविडली वी तो है ना एक Vividly, 
more established correct, also by that correct did you make a lookbook or was it just a script i made a lookbook uh ان <laughs> and i was like maybe now he'll take me a little bit seriously because you know khan and mm. you know he'll won't be the like look book okay. had his paintings yeah i just because it was it was the color palette is look at if you look at salman tours paintings very similar mm. ah. so you can't the get the strokes stuff, because it's the live ha- action how mm. stuff it's very yeah. similar ah. uh and so i reached out and he said okay send me the film okay. and he saw the film and it was not the final cut at that point the sound wasn't done the color wasn't done uh he saw it and he was like uh, okay i'll send you like uh, i don't have time to make one because we also wanted a poster by a certain amount of time mm. uh so he said well, i think i have some paintings i'll send him you so send me four or five paintings and he said you can pick one i picked this one good and it, funnily enough i think it looks like ali junejo yeah it does mm. man it looks like yeah. an abstract yeah. version of him like to me it looks a bit like ali sethi i was going to say that yes a lot of yeah. people said that ali yeah yeah he is ali sethi huh i think it is it could be because it's, they're friends they're friends so, and yeah. i think he did, he has drawn ali before many yeah. times so his his yeah. sort of uh, usual face structure is for uh, the main boy in all a lot of his paintings is kind of taken from from ali's face mm. yeah knowing subconsciously or consciously I although maine ek dafa pucha tha ki ye ali sethi hai to he said no and then i was like this looks just like ali sethi to me so i don't know what's in his head and well if you look at it it also looks a bit like him Hmm. A lot of he his paintings also well, yeah. a, he makes it, you know it, it looks the features are a bit like him the ears and hmm. yeah but yeah. what a guy what a guy yeah hmm. yeah he used to i mean this is a horrible story but I'll, I'll tell it anyways i suppose he, he used to be in Edison <laughs> with us and he used to make these picture perfect hot women i bet theek hai na and like we would just be like yaar salman please ek bana ke turkey boys now like ek bana ke de de hame kuch chikni si bachchi main ghar le jaunga you never have to think about her again you know like she's mine it's over <laughs> and you would do this you do all them. the boys would start you selling now salman to rat and big money he just scribbles like, something and it would be just amazing like and and up to like it's like more expressionistic his work right like earlier it was picture perfect photo realism type and he can do that I suppose that's the journey where you kind of can draw something the way exactly the way it looks but you're not a camera so where's your expression and and then he's like no I actually can make something better than what's yeah, yeah. like Picasso yeah. did the same right if you look at his earlier works all his earlier work is photorealistic portraits of people and then as he progressed further in life they just became like these weird abstract <laughs> versions of whatever the hell he was looking at so i think that's generally how art works for artists and he was way. churning out like wo, wo, unme effort bhi kam hota tha to i often wonder whether picasso was just selling out because like there's this one uh, documentary on him where they have a a glass and they put the glass in front of the camera and he's painting on the glass so you could get to see the whole mm-hmm. way he does it and it's like uh, some really uh, acknowledged uh, renowned uh, documentary filmmaker from that time who's made the, the film but i mean what did he do he just put the camera and then the thing and then he let it roll and picasso's going at it like din ki 50 like nikal rahi hai thak 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 ye kiya ye 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 you're done next you know kind of like what gulji did to a certain degree gulji started doing these calligraphy things and this one time i witnessed him he used to have asthma not alive may he rest in peace uh, in nathya gali he had a house mm, that and one with the eye <laughs> I need to like take this uh, art vader <laughs> art vader that is dead can't say it mm, respect mm. to the dead <laughs> yes mm. yes great artist though great artist uh so do you're not writing right now i'm writing on my phone mm. that's how it starts yeah mm. exactly yeah. right <laughs> i'm writing on my notepad in my phone yeah mm. uh fun mm. stuff mm. do you do you like, audio notes as well things, huh audio notes as well if i'm driving Hmm. And if I feel like I will forget this 
by the time I reach a point or a signal, then a couple of times I've done. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, two weeks ago, I was like, I'm driving. I'm like, oh, actually, forget this. This is exactly the... how it should be. And I will forget this. This is the time I'm talking about someone at a social gathering or whatever. And they'll say something to me and a light bulb will come on. I'm like, Social, I know. Ke, like, Social gathering is the, yeah, the most. The best, like sh- the anywhere best. I go and there's a lot of people, I talk and then I'm like, huh. And yeah. they think I'm rude, I'm texting, but I'm actually just writing what they exactly. said. Exactly. No, no, I have to tell them. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm really writing sure. notes, bro. So just come. It's so fun. But you don't seem like you're pretty, very present right now and you're communicating and everything. Does it like in social gatherings, do you start becoming the no, no, lawyer? and like present. You can do both. I can so. act a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but I am present. That's why I think what they're saying is interesting, no? Uh-huh. Yeah, but then correct. I write it very quickly but I'm also worried that yeah. maybe they said something more interesting after that while I was writing <laughs> can uh, I just bring a camera can we record can this can conversation, conversation? <laughs> <laughs> that's when people start acting I used to do this uh, earlier friend of mine uh, went to Australia he came back and he's like had these stories about how he killed someone and he was in jail he was limping and I was like dude you're missing for 15 years you have this insane story so he's telling the story and I used to have a tape recorder back then and as he's telling the story my hand kind of goes in no, does he know or no? He doesn't know. I won't take his name. I still have the tape lying out. I play the tape every now and then. It's like if I'm writing someone who's been through like, you know, and he was protecting a girl where he'd like hit someone and broke his neck. The guy died. Um, and I was like, Damn. this is real. You know, this is not die hard. This is the only time you're going to get this. Record. <laughs> I'm lying it's around. It's okay. Uh, I think it's yeah, fine yeah. to steal. Right. How, how? lives, uh, what else are you going to steal from? Exactly. Yeah. Unless you go out and murder someone yourself with yeah. the experience. Mm-hmm. I don't advise that. Yeah, writers are like cannibals. They eat life. Yeah. Ooh. My dad has said things that are in the film. Nice. Uh, yeah. Did, did, did your dad watch it? Yes. What oh. did you think? Well, uh, my dad watched it in very strenuous circumstances because it was mm. after the film was banned, those mm. five-day period. Mm. And he was trying to show it to some of his contacts in Jamaat Islami. Ooh. Oh. So that's how he saw it. Ooh. And they also were not very interested in watching the film after like an hour or so. They were like, Haan, dekh humne. Huh. Uh, kar de, bas hai, khatam ho and they were like, no, 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 what? Dekho na, itna hai huh. uh, dekho, banao list ke, 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 ye hmm. to, bas hai, hai, wo timing hai, aapki film ki, wo bill chal raha jo. But my dad saw it in that. Wo. Hmm. So we will go back in the beach, we will be disinterested in the beach, then we will see the end of the beach, we will see So he saw it and he's like, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, this is how I saw your film, because I didn't get to enjoy it. I was really just watching it and looking for things to be like, will they, are they getting offended by this, are they getting offended by that or not. So uh, they, they, they just went like, no, we time not we're not going to watch it, we're not going to reconsider it. No, they watched like 80% of the film. Huh. And then they said, that the timing is bad. ये um, मसला आपकी फिल्म में कोई मसला नहीं आपकी टाइमिंग खराब है क्या वो ट्रांस बिल वाली कंट्रोवर्सी के टाइम पे आ रहे हैं आप 5 6 महीने पहले आ जाते तो कोई मसला नहीं बट यू हैड नॉट आईडिया ऑफ लाइक लिंकिंग इट टू द ट्रांस बिल और एनीथिंग राइट नो द ट्रांस बिल इज 2020 वी आई रोड दिस फिल्म 4 इयर्स बिफोर दैट एंड इन 2020 टू 2022 समवेयर नोबडी न्यू और केयर्ड अबाउट द ट्रांस बिल द फिल्म हैड टू मेड नोबडी केयर्ड अबाउट द ट्रांस बिल एट ऑल इट वाज आफ्टर द कंट्रोवर्सी हैपेंड इन अगस्त और सितंबर आई फील विद द सेनेटर हुएवर uh, and I was like, yeah, Why can't they just timing, implement yeah. a rating system? They have a rating system. I mean, they don't have a rating system. Like I went to that uh, it's cinema. A, it's a, it was an adult. And huh. I, we asked for an adult certificate. Yeah. I, like, I don't want to get a kid. I'm not mm-hmm. thinking huh. people huh. Kids should watch it. I think huh. you should be 18 plus to watch this film for sure. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Uh, then they censored it so much. Huh. That I was like, okay, I'll give you a kid. I'll give you a kid. I'll give you a kid. Because I'll give you a kid. So that's not the adult certificate. Tha. Amisha se, tino, there was uh, a back and forth. They censored it, you're saying? So basically, you, you sent it. You, they well, I, so if, I, if I'm honest, I sent to them a version which was already a bit censored. Mm. Okay. Uh, because I knew that there was no way that they were going to pass it. And I had shot it knowing that. <sighs> so we're back after a small little piss break. Yeah. Me. Uh, <laughs> guess in the comments <laughs> ke kon- Oh you told them oh, oh, oh. Ka- 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 Guess in the comments Guess in the comments Guess in the comments Who will pay attention And who will pay attention And who will pay There's clues on the table If you pay attention Who done it Who done it throughout I'll put like shots of whoever was drinking the most amount of water so that there can be a quiz about the whole thing <laughs> so uh, now uh, well what's the trajectory of this now you're gonna st- where do you want to see Netflix this Netflix because you're done you yeah. can't do anything more uh, we don't know yet 
Mm. It's mm. gonna release theatrically mm. in France on the twenty eighth of December, Ooh. and Belgium and Luxembourg and Netherlands. Do you have the same distributor for all over? No, the every world? country has a different distributor. Mm. Mm. And then UK, Spain, U- US, and India, Ooh. potentially. One never knows. Wow, but who is it? I mean, I've been to a No, it was it screened at a festival, but didn't like release theatrically. The response at the festival was very positive. It was very nice. Yes. Um, but let's see. There was some news about Sundance as well. And then there's Sundance. Yeah. Yeah. But there's again, this, that's the last festival that we go to, hopefully. Uh, and then we get up for actual release. Hit the Oscars, release. baby. Global. All that. Theatrical yeah. release. Yeah. Theatrical ah. release. Yeah. Ooh. Which won't happen like one day in all countries at the same time. Like it was a different date for different countries. Hmm. But you got to so, meet these. Uh, does the executive producer handle all these <clears> things or? <throat> my our like the lead producers like apurva huh. sarma so sawali paida hota hai ki jab ye internationally release hogi mm-hmm. um how, how many screens do you think it will be showing on how much of a, you yeah know, like impact? depends and like in france it's screen it's probably showing in about 100 screens so it's like a wide theatrical and you're audience. marketing it also yes i mean the distributors in, in france yeah. are marketing it okay and then similarly i think uk would be quite a wide release uh us would not start off as a wide release it would start off in like the art house independent movie theaters in la new york and then we'll see if it people want to watch it they'll expand mm. with mm. that sort of a film it's not advisable to just like in us to have a big release mm. uh but in europe people will have an appetite for this kind of a film far more than in the us in the us they are a bit like us mm. they want to watch mm. big movies only. well i have a good feeling about it now i hope yeah me yeah. too man i mean after seeing it and i'm an avid film watcher and i watch everything what i felt after i watched this i i was like different from other generic nonsense that you watch just because you're bored you know this was yeah. just like one of those films like i said to you earlier khatam hui to ab bas screen ko dekh rahe ho do minute just like when for a dream ke baad you like ye hua kya mere sath yaar abhi ye to kuch heavy cheez ho gayi hai yeah they genuinely like very few or maybe just one that i can think of off the top of my head that has moved me pakistani film that has moved me which one uh khamosh pani by sabia suman mm. back in the day mm. um and i met her cuz like hero of mine na so i was like uh, she was doing an acting class so i went like acha to let's get the like i'm getting it off of you now <laughs> the tips and tricks of how to make a great film and uh, she was like uh, there was this point where the leading lady uh, wanted to cry and she had to I've heard the story. Uh, yeah. I was like how, how did she she's like if you cry the audience won't cry. So you don't cry. Yeah. And let them cry. <laughs> <laughs> and that seemed to work. So I was like acha hmm got to manipulate them ha huh? these guys. Mm, you, gotta, you have to. <laughs> you have to I mean you? a little bit depends on if you know that you tell them listen I'm going to manipulate you. Uh but if you're friends I can just be honest. Mm. And so I because I can be manipulative actually. Hmm. in real life as a director i was like no i would rather tell them and they can know they're smart enough to know what i'm trying to do so i can tell them honestly you show them the director's monitor and you no i don't show them the monitor no never you don't show them the playback of the shot that's the only time when i'm like no uh, i'm not very friendly about that who you are uh-huh. yeah you don't let them see playbacks no. and what about like sharing yeah. the script with people like uh, i was uh, studying abhi uh, bilal ashari made a great film as well mala jat and i was like hey, uh, what was his process and uh, gohar ko i met at mm. the airport and i was like so oh, tell me about his process <laughs> <laughs> what is the process he's like yaar he used to share everything uh like a little piece of like an excerpt he'd write a monologue he'd share with the actor yeah. like what do you think get the feedback yeah. you know of course as a director you would be filtering out stuff where you know like an actor would be like yaar mere scenes bada do you know like i want more screen time type so you'd be like you know it cut you have to filter those things out yeah So, but he would share that. Do you? Sh- I share you the script. I would share every time, like every draft. Once, if Ali was on board, like in January, we had like four or five drafts after that. Uh, so I would share every draft. I would get his feedback. We would sit and talk for hours about it, and then um, it would help a lot. Mm. Mm. All the actors, whoever wanted to read, everybody read the full script mm. uh, multiple times. Did they give feedback? Yes. Did you apply? If I wanted to mm. filter, yeah. yeah. Mm. it helps it doesn't mean that oh if she's saying that this is this scene is not working for me that doesn't mean that i take it out i can try to understand why is it not working for him and then sort of get the note behind the note mm. and be like oh this scene is not working for him because this yeah. you know for this reason but that doesn't mean that i can have to take it out 
Hmm. You know, or I should put that old scene back in X draft that he liked. He's like, oh, I missed that scene. I'm like, okay, I can't put it back right now because of my reasons. But why does he? Why is he missing it? He shouldn't miss it. Hmm. Uh, what is he missing overall as a feeling because of that scene? So maybe I could put that feeling hmm. somewhere else in in an existing scene. Uh, so you try to take some that whatever, and they were all good enough to understand. K, oh, are we doing it? I'm like, no. <laughs> Yeah. Like we give you that note. Are you doing it? I'm like no. Yeah, <laughs> but Salman like, Chaudhary has input. been on screen after so long, man. And like uh, he is the the greatest joy in the world. He is so funny. He's like the youngest member in our cast. <laughs> he would dance in the middle of the takes. He would put on music and distract everyone. I'd be like, Salman, you can't do that. Uh, everybody is trying to work. You know, <laughs> like you are free, but the light people are working. The ads are working. So you know, everybody's distracted. He'd be like, okay, get me headphones. And then he would get headphones. Then he would dance in the courtyard. Cute. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah, really amazing, cute. amazing. Great vibes. There is a great bit of a great collection of collaborators. Ensemble, yeah. Right? Sorry, amazing. It was yeah. fun. It was fun. Chalo, I mean, uh, thank you so much for your time. As I and guess, like the usual cliche question is, आने वाले filmmakers के लिए आप क्या recommend करना चाहेंगे? क्या what is the pathway? आप वाले ज़रिए में कोई अपने दो. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, many things, I guess. I would just say, make what you want to make, and don't make what anybody else is telling you to make. Or, but for whatever reason, sometimes it's like, oh, make this or change it in this way because you'll make more money, or your film mm-hmm. will become more commercial, or make it this way because your film will go to a festival or become more arty. Whatever it is, find your own. Balance because it's so much easier to stand by the mistakes that you made, and they don't make you feel bad uh, at all. The mistakes that you didn't want to make, or that was not your instinct, mm. it was somebody else's instinct, and you were like, "Okay, I listened to somebody's advice, and I wasn't convinced then, and now I'm. It's not working out. Uh, those hurt oh. a lot. And even the success that comes from, or whatever, if the the appreciation that comes from something that you don't believe in doesn't really feel that great." Eventually, mm. to mm. me at least. Yeah, mm. tell me. You about know, it. if I'm not convinced by that scene, and somebody's like, "That's great scene," it's like, uh, no. Yeah, like <laughs> doing all these dramas as an actor, there were often times when I'd come home and I'd be like showering, and I'd be like, "Please, I want to wash the filth of this day <laughs> off me." Bichari drama industry ko tumne ek me jaate jaate ek goli maar di hai. But rightly so. Now, उसके अंदर भी आते रहते हैं. Like Manto was in uh, was a drama as well. Manto yeah. started off as a drama. Yeah. 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 But even like in cinema, it seemed like what drama ki framing hai. Because it was shot as a as a television. It was edited into a film. Hmm. It wasn't. I don't think they planned to make a film. Hmm. They planned to make a serial. And then it, it looked was, nice and it was yeah. interesting. They were like, "Do you want to make a film?" Cut to ji movie kar to iski. And I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It was fun. 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 Shit, it's gone now, na? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was up north, was climbing mountains. I feel like, yeah. like on a quick note, making films like that as an industry, they're easier to make. They're compressed in terms of budget, and they they're faster to turn out. And if we were to continue to make films like that, I feel we'd have a lot more things to watch. You know, उसने जो एक formula बना ली है सर मैं ने वो बड़ा एक feasible formula है यार it's like a medium size it's not a small film it's not a huge yes. gigantic you film you can make money movie. of it as a producer also you're telling a good story it's simple you know there's no like SFX budget no. type and it's a good yeah. I feel option for filmmakers now to have yeah. that in our yeah yeah and if you want to make the big commercial film then make it like Mola Jai हाँ yeah. yeah exactly yeah. then exactly. don't exactly. serve don't the other uh, shit that you say is very entertaining is like this is not Funny or entertaining mm. or engaging, mm. yeah. just it's a bad. chapa or yeah, some yeah, horrible you know. Indian stuff. You know. I was very Act happy off. when I saw Mala Jatka. Like for the first time, I've seen a commercial film which is actually like yes, yeah. yes. If you look this good and the action feels that nice, and then yes, I'm willing to. I'm in. I'm entertained. It's engaging. Yeah. But yeah. this is the first time I've been entertained by a film that was pretending to be entertaining. Yeah, but uh-huh. from Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know. No, no, he pulled off what it was meant to do. No, hundred percent. Yeah, and plus watching it, like I watched it in uh, Karachi and in Punjab, and Punjab me that film, like I, you know, like you saying Joyland, to me, I will enjoy watching it. I will enjoy it. And I want to too, because I will cry at the end. So I will enjoy it too, because otherwise I will be embarrassed. I will be crying. So then I watched Dead Poet Society with my friends, and everybody was crying at the end. And सारे कह रहे थे नहीं मैं नहीं रो रहा यूं यूं कर रहे थे ना एंड लाइक तो चल रहा था ऑर्डर करें कुछ कुछ नहीं हुआ कुछ नहीं हुआ यार कुछ नहीं हुआ तो आई डोंट वांट टू गो थ्रू दैट बट विद मोला चैट इट वाज लाइक इन पंजाब पर्टिकुलरली कराची में तो मरी हुई लोग रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं समझ नहीं आ रही होगी ना 
हाँ शायद ये पंजाबी की वजह से ना but like you saying medium size films with sarmad khusar like so what what would you classify Char your budget crore is still a big budget. like under 10 is a medium hmm. under 10 is i a think medium. 10 or under is a medium right hmm. Correct. i yeah. feel 10 yeah. is a juicy budget for a film man yeah. uh, i feel you could make one between 3 to 6 that's medium 6 and above goes into it's very hard to make a film in 3 ah, like today ah, uh, with like a dollar like 30 yeah. and uh, ah, it's very hard sahi baat hai ab yeah. my wife was making a set for this commercial and she's like i went 2 million over budget no 20 lakh rupees over budget for two day commercial shoot right and she's like i never go over budget but it's just that things have just gotten inflated yeah. and so, people are increasing prices in the like chaotic way because mm. they don't know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but in lahore it's a, still a bit cheaper to make a film hmm. uh interesting yours was in lahore the... no it was in karachi no no lahore no, 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 i couldn't tell no oh. i could tell yeah, really it's all aap purana shehar mein wo rehte hain zinkawal mandi oh yeah okay yaar ek wo maine kuch cheeze miss ki hai mujhe lag raha hai kamli mola jai correct correct oh, wow. brought the industry to lahore yeah. if you see it's very sneaky clean one there's only nabil qureshi up in karachi with the namalu farad actor in law and there's a anadeem beg as yes. well i suppose yeah. but he makes ke punjabi 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 still uh, is that way uh, in the line of work that in the I line of work yeah in, yes. so i'm like oh well athe the ko drama nahi ban rahe bhai asli film bana rahe hain ha te asi ta achhi achhi film banaoge thank you so much for being thank on the you podcast. guys right. it's nice having pleasure. you and bye moru bye bye guys. bye <laughs> everyone bye <laughs>